Hello everyone, I'm Amy from Assist from HTM. Do you guys know that if you use the topical laser decongestant for sinus or allergic remedies for more than 5 days, your congestion might become more severe? Today, I'm going to talk on the topic of rebound congestion. First, what is rebound congestion? Rebound congestion, also known as Rangitis medica mendosa, is a constant nasal congestion caused by the overuse of topical nasal decongestant in 7 to 10 days. The topical nasal decongestant, such as oxymetazoline or silometazoline, works by constricting the blood vessel in your nose, causing a process called vasoconstriction in order to reduce the inflammation. They are simply used because your nasal passage becomes swollen when you are congested. It works so well that the people tend to use it more frequently, thinking that it can help the congestion. But actually, it may cause the congestion to become worse. This is because the overuse of topical nasal decongestant may result in inadequate blood supply, causing the nasal passage to become swelled up again. So, what can we do to prevent the rebound congestion? First and foremost, use the topical nasal decongestant as directed by doctor or pharmacy and follow the instruction in the box. Do not use the topical nasal decongestant for more than 5 days. We can also use alternative treatment for nasal congestion. For example, Using the over-the-counter saline nasal spray to loosen congestion without causing rebound congestion. We can also use steroid nasal spray for more severe congestion. As some studies also show that this is the best way to prevent the overuse of topical nasal decongestant. Lastly, lifestyle modification such as using humidifier, especially during sleeping, may help to prevent dry nasal passage and congested nose. If you have any difficulties in dealing rebound congestion, please consult doctors or pharmacists. Before we end this video, please remember to like our HTM Pharmacy Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. Thank you.